Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Sun Bitcoin, your go-to channel for all things crypto and tech. I'm your host, Dale Baldock, and today we've got some major news to cover. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are taking a hit, and investors are anxiously waiting on the Federal Reserve's next move. So let's dive right in. So, here's the scoop. Bitcoin, the king of cryptocurrencies, has dropped more than 4% to 66,475. This decline started last Friday when Bitcoin couldn't hold on to that sweet $70,000 level. Alongside Bitcoin, Ether is also feeling the pressure, down 6.1% to 345202. It's a red day across the board for cryptos and crypto-related stocks. Coinbase and MicroStrategy are both down more than 4%, and miners like Marathon Digital and Riot Platforms have lost over 2%. Yikes! So what's causing this slump? Well, it looks like a wave of long liquidations. In the past 24 hours alone, 56 million worth of long Bitcoin positions were liquidated on centralized exchanges, according to CoinGlass. We also saw another 56 million in long liquidations last Thursday, just before a surprisingly strong May US jobs report dropped on Friday. This report seems to have spooked the market, pushing Bitcoin below $70,000 after it briefly touched that level at the start of June. Now, just like the stock market, crypto traders are on edge about what the Federal Reserve will do next. They kicked off a two-day policy meeting and everyone's waiting for their decision on Wednesday. On Tuesday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 272 points, and the S&P 500 dipped 0.3%. Bartos Lipinski, the CEO of Cube Exchange, explained it best. When equities sell off, other risk assets follow. He believes the market is losing confidence in a Fed rate cut anytime soon. Plus, there's growing fear about the long-term impact of high rates. But here's an interesting tidbit. Despite all this, options positioning shows that the market expects a long-term rally. Lipinski adds, For now though, we may continue to see volatility until there is a clearer picture of the Fed's plans for the remainder of the year. He also mentioned that the sell-offs we're seeing are part of an ongoing malaise in the market. Even with spot ET ETFs potentially coming to the US market, there's been no real catalyst to drive prices higher. Lipinski believes that the fundamentals are strong for Bitcoin, with supply being hoarded by ETFs, but sentiment hasn't caught up yet. Alright folks, that's it for today's crypto update. It's a turbulent time for the market, but as always, we'll keep you posted with the latest news and insights. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think the Fed will decide? Thanks for watching Sun Bitcoin. Stay tuned and stay savvy. Also remember, peace out.